If you don't have a random bin, who are you? All right, so today's video, we're just gonna start with vlog style because I'm just gonna be heading into the bathroom because I wanna do a major getting rid of stuff, declutter, organization. I got a lot of different storage bins and like organizer things and I just wanna make Marie Kondo proud, you know? I'm also filming a 15 days of foundation video today so if my foundation looks uh, a little interesting, that is why. There is like a Marie Kondo revolution happening right now if you have no idea what i'm talking about netflix released a documentary series that was like based on a book called the magical art of tidying up which i actually read years ago i'm not doing this marie kondo style i'm just you know decluttering shit and making it happen but i will say just seeing everyone else's like organization things right now has just made me want to do it and get it done so that's what's happening my bathroom has been a total disaster since i moved in because i basically just put things away to like get it out of the boxes and then i never actually organized it so this is like the first time i'm fully organizing the bathroom in this place so i hope you guys like this one if you do you can give it a thumbs up while you're watching if you're new here i upload every monday wednesday friday 6 p.m Pacific time i also recently showed reorganizing my whole filming room and everything so if you want to see that it was in a vlog i'll link it in the eye and down below while we are talking about home things and organizing, I just wanted to show you guys because my 99 bottles of foundation on the wall, wall art came in and I just framed it and I'm gonna be hanging it up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it exactly right here, but I just wanna show you guys. I'll have this linked down below, but this is on my merch site and I just love all the foundation bottles on here. I tried to make it a wider range of shades and everything. And these are a lot of my favorite foundations. Some of you guys were asking. Some CYO. So the frame I also got on Walmart, I'll link that down below. Okay, folks, so I have not touched this. This is what we are working with today. It's, uh, yeah, a lot. I do make videos, so I'm constantly testing product and a lot of this stuff, most of it is stuff that brands send to try out. So before I reorganize all this, the first step is just gonna be to go through and declutter it and figure out what I still wanna try out, what is expired, what I'm never gonna try, what I should just donate, and just go through everything. There's two giant bins of skincare behind here that I literally never go through because I can't reach it because it's so far back. And these go really far back too, like super deep. So I might even store some like toilet paper or just like extra things back there because there's a ton of space in each of these shelves. It goes way back. I showed in a vlog when I moved in, but my dad and I actually added two of the shelves in here and then the rest came in. I am gonna be remodeling this bathroom soon, like in the next, hopefully six months is when I'm gonna start. So I'm not gonna, you know, go ham with like adding things. I just wanna organize it. Oh, I also have this entire stack of things that is a disaster. I'm starting to go through where I have all my sheet masks. I don't even use sheet masks. I have like two that I like, so I'm just gonna probably donate all of these because these have literally just been sitting here since I moved in. This is where I keep all of like bobby pins, random hair clips, random little perfume samples and stuff, nail clippers. So that will probably be staying, but then here's the two skincare bins back here that I have no idea what's in those because I never can see them. I'm gonna keep, like I wanna keep the, this isn't a face, this is a recovery peel. I'm gonna keep that. Oh, this is that tanner. Okay, that's a self tanner mask. Whoa, too excited. Do you wanna keep that? All of these, I'm gonna get oh, Skin Iceland eye mask. What is this one? Tarte eye mask. I do love eye masks. I'm just not that into sheet masks. So, okay, one door clear. The H&M, these are so good actually, the little, travel mask things. I got those in Europe. I'm not sure if they still sell. I want to try the elf one. Keeping that. So many masks. Ooh, bubble sheet mask Glam Glow. Glam Glow doesn't have the best ingredients. Oh my god, so many. Got some chocolate milk. Oh, these are little detox. These are mud ones that you mix. I might keep one of those. Okay, here's the first skincare bin up there that I'm going through. And I think a lot of this stuff is expired. It's kind of shitty because these are so expensive and I love two of the, three of these, but I'm pretty sure they're expired. I need to double check, but I also feel like I can't part with these because what if they're not expired and what if, what if expirations are a conspiracy theory? I'm just saying, okay? I know this one definitely expires the Seaforma. Ooh, I don't know. 
I used to love this Paul's Choice, but this is definitely expired. I'm gonna get rid of that. I did not know I had a sample of the TLC, hell yeah. I'm pretty sure this Good Jeans is way expired, which is unfortunate because again, this is super expensive. Oh, I did not know I had this. Tatcha water cream, good to know. Let's try that. Okay, so out of this entire section, besides the little shelf things here, this is what I'm keeping. So I have face masks in here. My 2017 self would be so proud. I think I only kept like under 10 face masks and one foot mask. And then these are just skincare, whether it's like to try or just extras or whatever. That's in there. There's nothing back there yet. So I'm, I'm gonna be moving this stuff around. This is just like what I'm keeping from the shelf. So now I'm gonna go on to this bad boy, which is all hair stuff random smaller bottles on this one and then more hair stuff and like self tanner and random shit up there so here we go Okay, so I have nothing organized yet, like final at all, but I have all the products that I'm keeping here. So let me show you the giant ass bag of the stuff I'm donating. So I don't even know how many bottles are in here. I probably got rid of like at least a hundred things, probably more. It's a huge, huge bag. This section looks like there's a ton, but there's just nothing behind like the first couple rows. So that's gonna be reorganized once I get the other bin. But I'm gonna do this bottom section because I have the organizers for here that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use. So this is really cool. This one I got off of Amazon and it's like a turntable made for spices. So part of the issue with this setup is that some of my bottles are too tall for any of these unless I want it on the top, but I'm just never gonna reach for the things on the top. So some of the stuff I have to keep like right here before this thing, so I can't put anything tall obviously under here. So I thought it would be good to have this turntable thing for just some of my like hairsprays and taller products that I use on a daily basis or weekly basis just so I can see them easier and they're like contained, you know, in a little area. So I'll link this down below. These two I got from Target, they were actually unmarked so i think the girl gave me both of them for 3.99 or something so they were the last ones left and they didn't have any kind of tags on them but this one i figured i could put hair clips in sometimes i keep like random nail polishes here i have a whole thing of nail polishes in my other room but i like to keep a couple that i just always use for my toes and stuff in here so i thought this one i would put some of my nail stuff in and then this maybe just more bottles so i'm going to start organizing this area here okay Here's some progress so far. So I actually just got my Amazon order in with those bins. So I got three of these. These are the small size, or li I'll link these down below, but really like just like the look of these and how clean they are and stuff. It looks way cleaner than having the clear bins, but I do like the clear one for my skincare and stuff because I feel like if I couldn't see through that, since the items are all so small, I just wouldn't like reach in there because I wouldn't know what's in there versus like out here since I can see the tops, it works. So I think this one is gonna go right up here. I'm just trying to figure out what to put in that one. And then I also got two large size of the same ones that just came in. So those are gonna go up on the top right there. And this is what I'm gonna put the self tanner in and then the extra shampoos and stuff. And then I think I'm gonna use my label maker to just put labels on all those white ones so I know what they are. But I love the turntable thing works awesome and I just feel like it looks so much like neater and easy to see everything these are like my everyday things just like little floss things I'll show you guys everything actually at the end all right last step and then I'm done I just found this in my like craft thing so I think I'm just gonna try and hopefully these will stick onto the plastic containers but I'm just gonna write some labels on all the bins all right folks we are all done I'm like standing in my toilet right now pretty much to get this shot so for the labels, I actually used those like chalk labels I had, but the pen was out of ink. So instead I used white labels and just cut them and then stuck them on the black. And I actually really like the contrast I gave. If you don't have a random bin, who are you? Okay, so I'm gonna give you an overview just to show you guys and hopefully give you some ideas or something. But like I said, this one was from Target. So in here I just have my makeup remover. These I've been trying. I'm like almost out of these Garnier little things. These are little flossy guys, you know? I don't know, I just had those. My holy grail deodorant. So in this thing, this will probably be like changing around because it's just very random and there's not a whole lot in here. But I do like having like my ponytails and stuff in here just because, I don't know, 
fish on the bow. It's just easy. I have some tampons back there. So this little marble tray, I have my hair brushes that I use like every day and those clips. And then in the other Target tray back here, I just have my nail stuff. And I don't mind it being like, you know, kind of back there because I know if I need my nail stuff, I can just reach and grab this bin out. And on this little thing, this is where I'm gonna be putting products that I am like testing more basically. Like I've been trying out the Briogeo things for a while now, some new like skincare stuff. So I just wanna have the stuff that I need to try out and like test up here so I don't forget. Love the way this like turntable thing worked out. I think this is a perfect solution if you have like tons of bottles and you don't want to keep like moving them around and stuff and they just keep like falling over like mine were doing this is perfect this gold thing came in pr i think from pixie it's really cool it's like a holder for your cotton balls and then this was supposed to fit their glow tonic but i just put another product there and then this actually fits perfectly in this little slot so that's exciting face masks i showed you guys skincare this is what i nailed it down to so a lot of this stuff i'm still trying i kept the drunk elephant stuff because i can't part with it okay don't kill me marie kondo they do bring me joy that's all i gotta say this bin back here i have this is like my go-to gradual tanner and then i just have some body lotions and things here are all the hair products i kept not gonna lie pretty proud of myself they all fit in this little bin that i showed you and if i want to try anything i kept the ones that i'm like currently trying up front so i can just pull them out and then in here i just have some like body splashes i'll use every so often i have my perfumes in a different area in my bedroom and then i have some more smaller bottles of hair products back there but these are like my kind of go-to hair products lately that I'm just keeping on this. This is actually the lid from the tampon thing. I just really liked how it looked with the rose gold and it fit everything perfect. And this way I can have it all organized, but it's like separate from the other stuff since I use that so often. And then I have the random bin that just has like facial tool things in there. There's some like teeth whitening in there. And then this thing has all my sheet masks. Like I said, I don't use this super often, so I don't mind having it up here. And if I ever wanna, I can just pull out the entire drawer to get a sheet mask down if I can get the drawer back in. I've been using Crest White strips lately, so I just have those right there. And then at the top, I'm not gonna go through exactly what's in those, but I'll give you a shot. So on the left, we have shampoo and conditioner. These are extras for when I run out of stuff I'm trying in the shower. I always switch it up just so I can always be trying new products and stuff. So there's just some extra ones in there. And then over here, self-tanner. For someone who self-tans like three times a year max, I have an entire bin still of self-tanner, but I do still want those products, so. And then back there, I actually only have like two things. I have Nair and I have a Pixie Glow Tonic. So I got rid of so much stuff and everything is more towards the front. So if I ever wanted to store, I don't know, like other things back there, there is still a lot of room since these things are so deep and there is some room up there. So I might even eventually add like another shelf up there, but I do like having a tall shelf or whatever else. That took me, I think about three hours between like going through everything and then organizing and labeling and all that. I feel so much better in here. It feels so nice just looking over here and having it all nice and neat. So if you needed a motivation for organizing, 10 out of 10 would recommend feeling great, ready to go have some Chipotle, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna have everything I talked about linked down below as far as like the bins and every all the labels and stuff that I can find. And if you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.